guys, welcome back to the episode of Jai's Fishing. So today we are at Bedok Jetty. Yeah, uh, time now is in the afternoon, and currently it's quite windy, and there's been a bit of uh, red tide. Uh. So like algae bloom, there are a lot of algae coming in. Yeah, it just it just uh, moved on over to the uh, right side of the jetty. Uh. So this algae bloom actually it kills the fish. Yeah, it kills uh, fish. Uh. Okay, take oxygen dead zones, but here the current is quite strong. Quite yeah, strong, so, so it should be okay. Hopefully it's okay, but tamban a bit a bit lacking. Yeah, so we've been trying to jig tamban. We haven't brought any other bit for daytime. Uh, at night afterwards, we'll be staying until night. So we'll be using uh, kelong sotong for our surf cast. Yep, so hopefully we catch something and we'll update you guys again later. Bunang, bunang. Like uh, passerby from the jetty or something. Uh. Otherwise, usually you get them when you 
when you cast on like rods, uh, life tamban. Uh. Yeah, so there's another life tamban. Yeah, uh, right now we only have one tamban left. So <laughs> hopefully we can get more tamban. Otherwise, we'll be out of bed and then we'll just wait until night to self cast. But anyway, we are very happy with the uh, bunang. I think it's the first time we feature that fish on our channel. Uh. Yeah, correct. Yeah, first time. Yeah, so we chopped into half, gave half away, and the other half we are going to bring home and cook. And yep, so we'll update you guys again later. Okay, right guys, so now it's about uh, last slide update. Yep, so we have uh, zero tamban left. We didn't manage to catch anything else. Yeah, so anyway, I guess now we'll just wait for night. Now. This is uh, the last round of our uh, tamban that we have. So if there's nothing, then we'll just wait for night before we change our bed to Sotong. Yep. So hopefully we get something. Uh, in the meantime, I think we can run you some footage from another trip. Lah. So y'all can just sit back and enjoy. Hey, don't, 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 don't do hard. Fish, fish, fish. Nice. Can can can. I I think you need. Huh? So yeah, so yeah. Your jack very tight, oh. Wait, wait. They want just take, 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 take. How about take? How about take? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, ah. Oh, you, you. Come on, just bring up, boh. Wah. Huh? Never mind, never mind. Leave it, leave it. Wah, the mark big, big, long, long. So not big. So <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Wow, nice fish, nice fish. Step back, step back, step back a bit. Ah, taka, taka. Kefu ah, kefu ah. Slowly bring in. Relax, relax. Relax, slowly, slowly. Got his shake on this one. Huh? No lah. No, no, this one not. Slowly, slowly. Wow, baby, wow. Oh. Ah, Pari, Pari. Pari, Pari, Pari. Pari, Pari, Alright guys, so the reason why I'm doing a voiceover is because there was some copyright music in the background. So basically what we're doing here was we're using a hand line. We put the hand line uh, through the spherical of the stingray and we didn't tie a knot. We're just holding the two ends of the hand line. So we're just letting it recover uh, by just letting it swim below. La. So we were just checking to see if uh, it could recover well enough for us to release it. So you can see the swimming about. Yeah, and the reason why we're releasing it is because it's listed as endangered on the uh, IUCN. Okay, so over here, you can see that actually the stingray is swimming. So we decided that uh, it should be able to, it is recovered and it should be able to swim away. So we decided to let it go and 
we can be seen releasing the handline the line and yeah it's swimming away yep Alright guys, so that was a uh, white spotted whip ray. Uh, we believe it's uh, Maculabatis gerardi. Maculabatis, I think. Maculabatis, Maculabatis, something like that lah. Okay, then uh, anyway, this is a uh, endangered species. Yeah, and uh, you can quite actually quite commonly see them being sold at the uh, market lah, which is uh, quite a problem. Yeah, so that is why we release uh, the stingray, even though it was pretty good size to keep. I was like three, four kilo, I think. Yeah. And uh, I know that people are going to say that we hit it with a guff. Yeah, uh, the guff didn't penetrate like through the stingray. Yeah, so it was bleeding a bit when we brought it up. Then after that, uh, before we put it down, it actually stopped bleeding. So we thought, okay, maybe this uh, stingray could stand a chance. Yeah, that's why we actually uh, let it uh, swim below first before we let, let it go to just make sure that it can actually swim. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't want to just like throw it back. Yeah, another thing is uh, people are going to say I know that uh, we remove the bug. Yeah, so the purpose of us removing the bug is because without removing it, we couldn't have safely uh, fed the handline through the two spiracles, like the two holes. Yeah, which was necessary for us to let it swim. Yeah, so stingrays can regrow their bugs. Yeah, so it will take a short while, but eventually I believe the bug can regrow. Lah. And a stingray of that size uh, should not have that many predators in the wild. Lah. So if you think about it, like if we kept the stingray it would have just died lah. but if we let it go at least it stood a chance at uh, surviving lah. and it was a female stingray yeah so hopefully it can survive i know it's not 100 percent but at least it has a chance lah. yep so we've come to the end of our current session yeah and we'll combine this footage with uh, another day's footage and yep so hope you guys have enjoyed this session and I'll be seeing you back in the present day footage. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, <laughs> okay, so this a uh, eel tail catfish. Look at his face. Yeah, and look at you can see the tree spines lah. So don't be very careful of that. They are very sharp and venomous. Yep. So actually, I just let it go lah. You don't really want this. Don't need it also. Bye bye. Okay. So we come to the end of today's uh, session. After the Bundang and night actually was pretty quiet, only have uh, small fish. Yeah, so yeah, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, hope to see you guys in the next episode.